Day number 35. All right, well, praise the Lord. Uh, this is day number 35, five to go to end our 40 days of fasting and prayer. God bless you again, and thank you for joining us. Today, get your Bibles. We're going to go to the book of Colossians. We're going to stay in the same theme that we were in yesterday in relationship to us being members of the body of Christ. And as members of the body, Jesus is the head. And because Jesus is the head and we're part of the body, everything that is accessible to the Lord Jesus Christ is accessible to any member of his body. So again, Colossians chapter 1, let's get ready to go into this and we're going to read the scriptures here. But again, as a believer, anything that is accessible to the head. Matter of fact, just say this with me right now. Father, thank you that anything that is accessible to Jesus is accessible to me. Anything that Jesus accesses by power, by faith, I access, I access by power in faith. That I am a member of the body of Christ and as a member of the body of Christ, with Christ being the head, I have power in the earth. Now let's look at this. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 9 and following. Praise the Lord. For this cause, Colossians chapter 1 verse 9, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you might be filled, full of the knowledge of his will, not just have a glimpse of, not just know a part of, not just guess or hope that this is the will of God, but that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. What did we talk about two, two or three days ago? That the mystery of God's will would begin to be revealed to you. That that which is a mystery to others is no longer a mystery to me. But I am filled with the knowledge of God's will. You know, the Bible says that grace is multiplied through knowledge, power, ability, and strength from God, in God, over the powers of hell, is multiplied to us through the knowledge of God's will. So, I see, I desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, verse 10, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and here it comes again, increasing in the knowledge of God. So you're walking worthy of the Lord, you're pleasing the Lord, you're fruitful in every good work, increasing in the knowledge of God. Look at the effects. And as you increase in the knowledge of God, you are strengthened with all might, with all might according to the glorious power of Jesus Christ unto all patience, unto all long suffering with joyfulness. All right. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power. Therefore, give thanks unto the Father, for he has made you meet to be a partaker, or he has made you qualified, me, qualified to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light, for he has delivered you from the power of darkness and translated you into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom you have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Now, I don't want to read any more, but he goes on to talk about the body in the verses following, and I encourage you to read those, but let's talk about this yet one more time real quick as we move into this. That you be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, so that you might walk 
worthy in the earth as a child of God, pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, always increasing in the knowledge of God. You know, there are those in the earth that the Bible says that they will ever increase in knowledge, but never come to the knowledge of truth. However, as a born-again, blood-washed believer, as you who are applying and releasing, trusting in the principles of God's Word by faith, you realize that right now, Father, thank you that I am filled with the knowledge of your will. I encourage you and challenge you to make this a part of your daily prayer, confession, and repertoire. Lord, today, thank you that I possess the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God. Father, thank you that today I am filled with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Father, thank you that today your will is not a mystery to me, but the mystery of your will has been revealed to me and through me to the earth. Why? That I might be strengthened, verse 11, with all might according to your glorious, mighty power. That, Father, today, because of the knowledge of your will, because the mysteries are revealed, I'm strengthened, not just in my head, but in my heart, my faith. I am able to use my faith on purpose because you have given me power. You have given me strength. And he goes on down in verse 12 and says, For God, you have qualified me to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in life. Now, think about this for just a minute. He has qualified you to be a partaker of his divine nature, of his inheritance, of the saints which walk in light. The saints which walk in light are those who are walking in full revelation and understanding of the mystery and knowledge of God with power over all the power of the enemy. We see many testimonies in the word of God of the saints, believers, who possess the knowledge of God's will and also walk in power and demonstration of God's spirit. At the same time, what you need to understand is this inheritance, God has made you qualified to receive and walk in the inheritance of the saints in light. Why? Verse 13, for he has delivered us. I want you to say he has delivered me from the authority, the power of darkness. He has delivered me from the authority structure and systems of the dark realms and the spiritual wickedness that's in the earth and has translated me into the kingdom of Jesus or the kingdom of his dear son. And it is in Jesus that I have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of my sins. So today... I'm the redeemed of the Lord. Today, my sins are forgiven. Today, I receive the inheritance of the saints in light. Today, I'm qualified to exercise and walk in power over all the power of the devil, not based on my own works, but based on the grace of God that now gives me the knowledge of his will, the mystery of his will revealed, and now wisdom and revelation and power flows through me as a son and a daughter of God, as a child of God, because I am born again, translated out from under the power or the authority of darkness. The law of sin and death has no grip nor rule over me. Again, like I said yesterday, I have been raised up, seated together with Christ in heavenly places. And today, the more I understand this, the more I know this, the more I am filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, the greater and the more faith I am able to use on purpose in power against the powers of darkness. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you are much more powerful than you have ever perceived yourself to be. If you indeed are a member of the body of Christ, he is the head and you're the body and has put all things under your feet. If indeed you have been redeemed by his blood and received the forgiveness of his sins, translated out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of God, then today, as a child of God, you have great privilege and authority to operate and function victorious in every dimension of Father, thank you for the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Thank you today, God, that you have made me qualified as an inheritor of the saints, God, of the glory of God and of the power of God. Father, thank you that today, in Jesus' mighty name, that I am strengthened with all might by your glorious power in my inner man. Today, God, I am fruitful in every good work. Today, I increase in the knowledge of God. Today, Father, I give you thanks and praise for the victory that overcomes the world through faith is mine. I am a conqueror and I am victorious in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. Well, God bless you again. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey of uh, in fasting and prayer. Tomorrow we will cover the 36th day, hallelujah, and we're winding this down. Glory to God, it's been my privilege and an honor. I'll see you again tomorrow. Amen.